And I remember Dave saying, yeah, something big is going to happen to us. And I said, you know, I know. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew. I said, I know. I know something is. You know, I just didn't know what it was. AT is like having the combined symptoms of um, different diseases like cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, um, cystic fibrosis. So you take the worst symptoms of those diseases and you roll them into one disease, and that's AT. Kate was just wobbly. I mean, the one incident that I remember is I was having a formal dinner party, haven't had one since. Came home and my mom had had her and the girls were sitting on the floor and Kate tipped over. And I said, that's not right. Then, one day, I noticed it. Mary, have you noticed Kate's eyes are not clearing up? And, you know, which, which I think prompted me to go back to the internet. And then it was, yup. Yep, all of the symptoms are matching up. Our pediatrician here said years ago, you know, there was another family that had two kids with, with AT, and uh, he said uh, they have, what, what, well, you tell I, me. Well, you yeah, you probably said, remember this. They have expired. I'm like, oh, like a hoopa? I've never been able to get past that. It went from supporting their shoulder, to grabbing their pinky, to a walker. From pinky to wheelchair is about five years. Kate, I feel like, is a little more angry about having AT because she's older and she realizes more, but, you know, she's more willing to be upset because she has AT. She's not afraid to be herself. Um, you can tell when she's really happy. You can tell when she's really sad. Like, there's no secrets with Kate. Well. When Livy was born, there were no symptoms. She had big, bright eyes, and she started walking on time. But we were at my parents' cottage, and we were watching a movie on the bed. And she was sitting up, and she tipped over. And I looked at my mom, and I said, oh, no, here we go again. I remember you said, I always imagined pushing one wheelchair. I never imagined pushing two. Like, I always think about if I had to have AT, I don't know if I could do it. But my sisters can do it, and they can do it really well. We both happen to have the exact same gene that is defective. And, and our offspring, our children, um, have a 25% chance of that particular gene becoming dominant in their bodies. You roll that genetic dice on Abigail, clear. Kate, roll the dice, bingo. You've got AT. Livy, roll the dice. You've got it. So. You know, they love to play. They love to hang out with their friends. They like to swim. So there are some things that are different. You know, their immune system isn't as strong as yours. They aren't going to be able to run across the yard and throw a football to you. But in all the things that are important, they're exactly the same. Kate and Olivia are such amazing young women. They have such incredible potential being zapped from them because of this dreadful disease. Uh, well, there are researchers around the world and their life work has been to advance therapies and ultimately find a cure. For that, we are grateful. We are hopeful that that passion and that energy will continue. We go to bed at night praying for these researchers, and we wake up in the morning hopeful 
You know, I would love for them to see, right. you know, this film, you know, so they can see our, 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 our true appreciation mm -hmm. and gratitude for what they do. You know that there could be something out there that would make a difference. It's just not in your reach because of the lack of funding. So it's up right now, it's up to the parents. It's up mm -hmm. to the friends and the families to raise money, you know, $10 at a time, $100 at a time. kids are living much longer much today than they ever have been. As parents, we're so hopeful that soon some more therapies that can continue that, um, you know, will be found. We are very hopeful, but we need help. So we just have to be patient, hold on, and just wait to see what the future holds. <laughs>